Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Odell. Today I have an unbagging video for you guys. How cool is that? Um, I've got some products here sent to me free for review. Uh, these ones are kindly sent by New Craft Day. So thank you, New Craft Day, for sending out these products to me free for review. And um, we're going to check these ones out together. There's a couple of different ones in here, so hopefully it's something you like. If there is, the links will be provided for you all down in the description box, including the website. And there's also a discount code for 10%. So using this discount code, you can also get 10% off. That is just for you guys. All right, then let's get stuck into the bag. Rolling up the sleeves, getting into this. I've got some probably overkill size scissors for the job. And we're going to find a corner and we're going to get stuck in. So I'm just going to ask, how is everyone doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, we've been... I don't know, I think we're very busy trying to get everything done, but um, I still feel like I'm chasing my tail, but anyway, we're getting there. Okay, so I have three by the looks of it to show you. I'm going to take all of them out. One, two, three. They're all coming in a clear cover. So there we go. That's interesting, isn't it? All right. Um, let's just put these two aside. I can see these are lies. I think I might have a look at those first. Look at this. Little peekaboo eyes. <laughs> okay, so I think I've just gone with all the 30 by 40s. I'll let you know if it's anything different. Um, and I can't remember exactly. I think I've mixed it up a little bit on the drills too. But let's 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 just check it all out together. Checking it out together. Okay, the first one. He's got a very noisy um, cover. My <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Dust cover. Ooh, soft. The first thing I have noticed with this, it's got quite a flexible, uh, soft, not very thick type canvas. You know what I mean? It's not thin either, but it's pliable. Now, which way do you want to go? Okay, so the image is going to be portrait, but all the information is going to go to landscape. Cool beans. Okay. Oh, we've got a few little bits and pieces there to check out. We've got a toolkit. And this one's rather... Um, Pretty darn good anyway. You've got your standard glittery pen and a little squeezy. I've got a nine placer and I think that's a four multi placer. Some sort of they're fairly actually they're quite fine those um what do you call them tweezers and I've got a portrait and a big water wax. So that's pretty good. That's a nice um a very nice kit for your tools. This one is a square drill, so it comes in baggies. So that's kind of cool. We're going to look at those in a bit more detail. But firstly, we're going to have a look at this canvas. And I am going to just try and... There we go. Maybe we'll just bring that out just a wee tad. There we go. So this one is rather cute. It is a 30 by 40. I think that's just canvas by the looks of it. It is a square drill, so it's a bit more gridded. All the information, the list and stuff is that way. So you'll be working on it to see your symbols and so forth that way. But as you can see, this gorgeous image of these pretty little owls up in the tree go portrait. There we go. So they're rather cute. I love the little eyes. They're all looking up there and all the, I think they're little dandelions or some sort of flowers in the trees. I'm not really sure. It's very um, impressionistic type of drawing. But it looks kind of cool. Oh, nice cover of glue there. This is a very um, relaxed type canvas that this one's on. It's got some folds, but I think they will settle down rather easily because it just seems to be very, very pliable. So that's a nice start. We're going to just give it a little bit of a relax and release. Only a thinish cover of plastic on there, so. Uh, it will do a little bit for me. There we go. Now we might come down and have a look at some of the details, but it's a very pretty image, isn't it? All right, let's go down a little closer. A little closer, please. There we are. So let's have a look at some of these details. That is my thumbnail up there. Um, I have charting on the top or I should say the left and right sides of the canvas or top and bottom however you like to look at it but I have got two 
Uh, that is the thumbnail. It's nicely printed, very clear. It's a good size. It's a very good size. Um, I have all my charting going along. This is going to the top, so I'm going to turn that around now so that we can have a look at it the right way around. And I'm just going to move my uh, scissors because I'm about to knock them flying off the table and then I'm have big crashy bangs going on. Uh, I have a 30 by 40 canvas. This is my colour list. I have the quantity, then the DMCs. And then, of course, we have our um, symbol coating, which is uh, a bit of a mixed bag of letters, numbers, and just odd symbols. And, of course, the number of the colours. In this case, it is 30. So there we go. We have 30 colours, uh, and you can see quite a variety of symbols. Uh, we've got some numbers down here, lowercase, uppercase, and then I've just got I don't know, even know what that is, but I've got ticks and up arrows and all sorts of fun things as well. I'm really not sure why we can't, if we're going to use numbers like five and two, we don't use that in where the five is and the two is. I don't know. Maybe it's just a, how the color code goes. But yeah, that's always why it, what makes me wonder sometimes. Makes you have to think twice when you know number six is 18, for example. Anyway, everything looks nicely, clearly printed there. So we'll move on <laughs> and just get over that funny idea. We'll come across a little bit further. I'm just going to readjust the camera. Oh, no, not going to do any more than that. I don't think. There we go. We can do a little bit more. Bit of a wobbly ride down there. But it does give you a good chance to really look at those symbols and the print. And as far as I can tell, that looks really nicely done. It's shiny with the glue. You can see good coverage there. And it seems to be a bit of a sparkle in the canvas, which is a nice touch. But the symbols are really nicely uh, printed, I think, right throughout. It looks pretty promising. Let's just move it close to the cross. So this is actually looking through the plastic at the moment. Yeah, I think that's really nicely done. This is this funny little symbol. I thought they looked like legs, but anyway. Um, I'll probably call it that in my head because I have uh, walking, little walking legs symbol. It's probably not that, but that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I can't see anything that's really, at the moment, obvious or jumping out at me as being an issue far as symbols. That looks really nicely printed. Um, they're well centred. So I don't think they're too close to the lines. They're not going to sort of show when you put your drills on. It is a square drill, so it should come up really nice. Isn't that groovy? Um, this is just the charting on the other side. I'll just quickly show you that. And you can sort of see all those things like your DMC codes, etc. and symbols are also printed really well on this side. Beautiful. And there comes your thumbnail once again. There we go. So that is pretty cool. Now we're going to come back up again. We can sort of see the image. There you go. So that's a cute little owls. I like that one. That one's very pretty. Hmm. I think that will come up rather well for size, especially a square. We should get some detail. Lovely. Okay. Um, I shall just put you the other side there you behave yourself and i'm going to just come back in there we go uh, i'm just going to quickly have a look at some of these drills because squares can be interesting i think as far as um quality i, I think i might have packed this one because it's a bit wonky it's a lot of drills floating around in here guys a lot of blue drills loose and goosey in here that's a problem I don't know how to fix that. Well, yes, I do. Of course I do. I can do it. Shouldn't be there, but they're all loosey-goosey. So I will say, at a guess, one of these zip bags is definitely open. Hmm. So I'm going to do this carefully. Normally I might just 
toss them all out onto the table. But I feel that I am going to do this just a little bit more carefully. Just a little bit. Because I think this bright blue one might be open somewhat. Because that looks like the colour. Is it actually open or just... Hmm. That's odd. Can I click it? It seems to be sealed. It doesn't seem to have any holes in it. <laughs> Look at that, there's a whole bunch of... I can't see if you can see that bit. A whole lot of squares all sitting together as a big square. <laughs> um, <clears throat> small things are mere small minds, don't they? That seems to be the colour that's roaming around in there. But he doesn't seem to be... Um, open so maybe they just maybe it's just um from factory floor packing not sure why that's done that i'm just going to have a bit of a looky loo see what's going on make sure these are all good um that drills are nice looking though mm, they look quite good I've got a shine on it because that's what it seems to like to do. Okay, it's not that blue. It's definitely this brighter blue that is the beads that are getting a, a drills, I should say. Ah, I've got beads on my mind because I was looking at them yesterday. Um, pink looks good. No, you're all right too. And maybe it's it's a it's a factory floor thing because uh, where are you? Come out there. That colour is definitely those loose drills. I'm pretty damn sure of it. But that bag doesn't seem to be open. The drills are all through it. Okay. I don't know. It's a bit of a, 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 it's a stopper. It makes me think about what's going on because I can see all these loose blue drills, but um, maybe they noticed it was open and just reached in there and zipped it back up so it wouldn't go any further than what it is and just said, well, they're in the bag. It's all good. We haven't lost too many. Or oh, what the story was, but oh, that was a little open. There you go. I'm just going to sort of just take these out of here. Oops. Go over there. Yeah. So as you can well, kind of see, the, the, the bag likes to shine. There's quite a few loose ones in there of that colour. But it doesn't seem to be like it was sealed that way. It doesn't seem to have a hole. Okay. Mystery, mystery, mystery. We'll just move on with that, shall we? Yeah, there's a little bundle there, plus that lot. That bag is really full though, I must say. Well, you're just going to just live in there, I think, for now. You can't go anywhere. I'll quickly have a little look at, um, make sure the numbers are all here, so to speak. I have all... Uh, 30 drills. We'll try to be quick about that. Quick sorting out. We might have to go fast for this bit. All right, so um, yeah, thought I'd just speed that up for you guys because that was getting a bit tedious um, to watch, I think, for you. But uh, it does seem to have all the colours. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten across the top, and then eleven right through to twenty, and then I have twenty-one to thirty on the bottom line. So all the colours are there. Uh, they all seem to be closed, so that's fine. The drills themselves are quite nice. Uh, not too bad. I mean, there's always going to be some shabby ones, I think, in your kits, especially 
you know, you, you're working with these sort of acrylic kits, uh, usually have a few defects, but as um, long as it's not that many that it gets annoying or you've got plenty of drills to do that with, I think that's all right. If you get the odd one here and there, you can live with that. But yeah, when you get lots and lots and lots, it starts getting a very annoying process when things don't sit properly. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, just by a quick sort of looky-loo, they don't look too bad at all. So I can see a few odd colours having a few wonky sides, but for the majority of like the pink there looks pretty good but yeah as i said you do get a few wonky ones um i'm not too concerned about these loose ones i'm going to probably just leave them in that pack and fold up i think at this stage i'm just going to worry about maybe when i put them away in storage or something like that i'll consider doing a bit more with it but for now just to show you guys um i think that's pretty cool so that is that one there um it is a square drill and it's ours so there we go, that's an interesting starting point, isn't it, for today. Uh, this one also has uh, the coating on the bag, so I'll be able to identify that one quite well, as well as this has all your numbers and DMC codes, etc. on these bags and quantity. Very, very handy to have all that little those stickers and that information. So that's pretty groovy as well. So I'm going to just pop these all back into the bag, and then I'm going to show you the next one. Wow, actually not a bad effort for me. There we go. Cool. Okay, next. All right, let's have a look at this one. So uh, this is a 30 by 40, I believe. Full drill again. Dust cover. Looks like a nice spy spiky. <laughs> it looks like a nice sparkly canvas as well. Yes, it is, 30 by 40. Now, this is a bit different in the texture straight away. It's more that um, more firmer, a bit more stiffer, but very glittery canvas that we have. That works out really well. It's okay. It settles down. Oh, look at this fellow. Oh, okay. A bit more traditional looking stuff going on here. I've got just the very basic um, toolkit, so that's cool. I can deal with that. I have round drills, and they're in the grey packaging. Ooh, and that is some pretty colours in that. Ooh, they'll have to have a look at those. And there we go. This is the canvas. It's a 30 by 40 canvas. It is in portrait. Again, that's in the portrait, don't I? Lucky I get many landscapes. Wow, that's got some... You can see the shine from the glue, and it looks really nice. Oh, so I had to touch it. It's a bit sticky, but you know. So this one also has, it's a bit more firm uh, canvas, so it's needing a little bit more encouragement. It only has just the folds. It's not looking too bad in that sort of size of things. It could definitely settle down. Oh, golly, that is got some stick. Um, it will settle down under some books, still something, you know, for a couple of days before you start working on it. It might be a good idea, just so that it'll settle. This uh, top cover is only fairly thin, so it's only going to, it'll help stretch it out, but yeah, not as thick as some of them. There we go. We're giving it a little bit of encouragement, aren't we? Look at my, what's my sleeves doing? Stop it. All right, let's have a look at this bit more classic style canvas. Wow, that's just so pretty. It's very simple. You got your monarch butterfly just sitting up there on that beautiful, I think it's a daisy. I'm not sure. Might be um, Dahlia. 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 I can't say it. <laughs> um, but it's a beautiful flower. Anyway, we'll just go with that. Image itself is so pretty. I'm not sure why we've got all these sparkly little bits of colour. I think that's just part of the imagery. Um, I do have a thumbnail, I think. Very tiny thumbnail. Look at that one. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's something. 24 colours, okay, not too bad, very basic table, very small table too, but we'll get closer into that and have a bit more closer look. I have one on the top left and the bottom right of the canvas. 
I'm just trying to give it a bit of a stretch so it'll sit down a bit flatter. I think that might give it encouragement. Beautiful. I really like this. I love that flower. I mean, the butterfly's gorgeous, but I'm surprised how much I really like the flower, how it sits in there. Okay. Mm, taking this all in. So this one is a bit different in the design as far as um, the printing of the image. Is the image coming down and then the symbols over top and laying the colours that way more. Where the other one, so it's got smoother edges, where the other one was very blocky style because of the squares. But this is around, so it's got that nice sort of printed um, design. Isn't that beautiful? All right, all right, let's go and check it all out. Whoa. So we landed in the confetti part of the flower there. It's a bit busy, not too overloaded, but is a busy little area. But um, having said that, is it's looking nicely printed. The symbols and so forth, even though it's not too bad. Even these grey, um, these brown colours, which can be a little bit annoying, um, how they get. I don't know why brown's a horrible colour, but it seems to be to print um, the symbols around. And red, red can be pretty rough too. Um, but brown's a terrible colour. Uh, but you have got some nice big blocking areas as well throughout the background. It's not completely solid, so it's not going to look flat. Um, you definitely got some light shades around the back of the butterfly wings here and so forth. And then you just got some sparkly things all going through it. So um, something's just popping into my mind just now is that these coloured little sections, obviously they're going to have a coloured drill. If you had something in your stash in the rhinestones, you could put them through the background there just to give it a little bit more bling. Just a thing I'm thinking of. What would that hurt? You could do it up as is. And then if you say you wanted to just alter it, make it your own, you could do a few things like that. It's your art. You do it how you like. That's how things are. In the world, art is your expressionist opinion of it. So if you want to change it, you can. We have 24 colours. Um, I have all my DMC coding to help me. And I have a really lovely, simple letter system or uppercase. So I'm happy with that. As I said, 24 colours. Nice, simple, uh, easy to read. I don't shine it. <laughs> it's easy to read. A bit of 310, circles, lots of blues, pretty pinks. Yeah, that's looking good. And you can see that it's nicely printed. Um, as far as your symbols, is nice and clear as well. That's a nice canvas. Give it a couple of days under some books and you will have a really nice settled canvas to work on. Um, there's the other charting on the bottom of your bottom right of the canvas as well. And this is a 30, whoops, there we are, 30 by 40. It's a nice fun size to work on. The butterfly details look really pretty. I'm really liking that. It looks really nice. It's a nice size um, image. Like for this canvas, you want to sort of fairly, usually want something fairly simplistic. Um, so you get a little bit more uh, clearer images in your time painting. Yeah, and that's that beautiful flower. Look at those pinks. And the pink and the orange just looks, I don't know, I love it. I really like that. And when there was a blue background, I think everything just so vibrant and pretty and just bounces off each other. I really like that. That is a good one. Okay, let's come back out a little bit. Yes. That will be beautiful. I'll have to let that settle though before I even think about starting it because I don't want those ridges in there. They will go, they will come out, but they can just sit under some books. Right, so this is the drills. They are round. Yeah. I like round drills. They're always so much easier to work with. And they they have a different finish, obviously, to your squares. Some say you lose a bit of detail, but um, they are a lot easier to work with. You don't have to worry so much when placing them. To have them straight and so forth. Wow, this is, it seems like a long strip. There's a few double ups, I think. 22 is a double up. But maybe not. Yeah, a couple of 15s. Okay, yeah, so it's one or two colours got double ups, so that background colour. 
Um, so you got your number of your drill and your DMC code, as well as product and size on this one. All the information is on your actual, whoops, on the actual drills as well. It's very hard to catch that just the right way. But there you go. How good is that? All right. I'm going to turn this train around. Time for the train, people. It's it's the drill train. It's coming through. Um, we've got the starter point with black. And we're just going to shoot right through. You can have a little look at those. Uh, they are round. They are looking nice and clean. They have beautiful oranges and pinks. I just love how they look. So vibrant, these colours. It's going to be a very happy one coming into spring for us soon. Uh, nice day, winter. Yeah, first day of spring coming. No, I think it is. Yes, of recording. So it will already be spring by the time you see this. And yeah, there is beautiful green colours ready for me to get into. Look at this. This is beautiful. Looking forward to the warmer weather. Yes. Very, very nice. I'm happy with that. That looked nice and clean. I, I don't think there's any real major issues with that that I can see just at the moment. Of course, you never know what you might find when you're doing one of these up, but for now, it looks really, really good too. That's a nice one. I'd get that one if I was in. I like that. That one might be a nice one to do a review video on. What do you think? We haven't looked at the last one yet, but so far. I like that. Okay, popular side. Okay, I have one more uh, to show you guys from New Craft Day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where's the end? Where is the end? Who wants to trick me? There has to be an end. Where are you? There you are. He's a bit, a bit, a bit cheeky, that one. Okay. Let's get this one out of the bag. Should have rolled it back. It sticks otherwise. Doesn't matter. It's not going back in there. I don't put them back in their dust covers. They go straight into... Well, they go into the drawer to settle, but after that... I will put them in folders, etc. So, yeah. <gasps> oh, that's right. I found this little beauty on there. I am a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. And I found this and I thought this looked absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And the Cheshire Cat. Um, yeah, I love Cheshire Cat. He's awesome. So I've got a very standard kit for this one. So we won't go into that too much. And I have round drills, same sort of packaging, so I'm feeling they're going to be good. And of course I have beautiful colours, lots of pinks and things and purples and blues. So we go have a look at the, we'll have a look at the drill train later. But right now I'm going to show you this canvas and hopefully it will stop shining. So I notice it's starting to catch that again. Now it's actually got a bit of sunshine out today, but because of how my house is, it's not allowing it to come into my room while I record. Isn't that fun? Paint the bottom. I could do with some beautiful sunshine. I might have to relook at the layout of this room. <laughs> Not that it's really optioned around, but maybe, maybe I can try. Oh, look at that! That settled down really well. This one is so better. Uh, it's a little bit softer, the canvas, so it's um, allowing those creases to settle down rather quickly. Look how beautiful that is. I know it's orientated the wrong way, so I've got another portrait style one, but just at the moment it's sitting there and not glaring, so it looks really beautiful. I love all the colours. Oh, maybe this one should be the ruby one. I told you I jumped ahead too fast. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at the detail. That's not bad for 30 by 40, isn't it? There's a lot going on. I love these colour swirls. This is, this is, a, mm, this is me all over. <laughs> all these swirls. I absolutely love them. When I was doing paintings, and I've gone back to doing paintings, but I used to do a style like that where I had a lot of swirls. I loved it. Tim Burton style, you know. Um, so there we go. We'll have a look at Alice. She's sitting there in her famously blue dress with her little white smock. And I just love all the swirly, whirly things and flowers and so forth around her. 
and the Cheshire Cat looking down. It's gorgeous. Uh, I have a charting over here on my bottom right, and I have 22 colours to show you. And I have again on this side, top left. So I think what we'll do now is just come down and have uh, a closer look at the actual canvas itself. Stop shining. Um, and yeah, I think the detail is really nice though in this one. I love the teapot. That's really cute. Hmm. It looks like he's got a look. These are little pansy, and they look like they've got little faces, the pansies. I always feel the pansies have little faces looking at you in the garden. That's why I probably like them. <laughs> kind of a cute flower. Always had them in the garden when I was growing up. And my mother would always have flowers, always in the garden. Oh, golly. Gee, she put some beautiful displays on. Um, and if she had more money to spend, I tell you, she'd spend them on flowers and put them in the garden. I know she would. She would always be in there. A bit hard though these days, but she still loves her flowers. Look at this. Now we're going to have a look at the chart and the drilling field. I might like start here, so I'm already here at the chart. 22 colours as said. And I have DMC coating. And we have some very nice, simple system. I like that of just uppercase letters. Nice. And 22 colours in total. Beautiful. Um, there is a thumbnail. It is only very small. So it loses a bit of detail in there, but I will show you that it has one for reference. Referencing. Can't talk. Uh, it's a 30 by 40. And I'm going to try and show you some of the drilling field. Uh, this again is one of those canvases that's printed on rather than that block colouring. So I might have to go down a little bit. Here we go. And we'll have a look and see how these symbols are coming up. Now, for the most part, I think they're... Well, these L's are nice and clear. But W is always a bit of a... I don't know why we always have that W. It's a bit of a wonky sort of symbol. But it's not too bad. Some D's there. On the red. You can see the glitter in the canvas. That's nice. C's, S's, W's, yeah, they're not too bad. What's this one? It's an O. Ooh, it's shining. A little bit dark there, but not too bad at all, really. I think it's pretty good. What do you guys think? It's not too bad. It's a lot more busier with its um, darks and lights and so forth, but uh, in general, it's not too bad at all. Um, that is your charting over there. Or your symbols. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think we've had a good look at that. And yeah, for the most part, I think it's pretty good. Not too bad. Um, you can sort of use a multi-placer in certain parts of this, I feel. Like, you could use your three or four even and get a bit done that way. There's definitely opportunities for that if you like to work with one of those. Or if you just like to put on drill by drill, it looks like it would work quite well as well. I like this little um, kettle. Uh, yes, teapot. Depends how you talk about it. But yeah, it's a teapot, I should say. You get distracted by those sort of things. I like the detail. Alrighty. I'm going to pop that one aside. I like that. Ooh. Not sure now which one could be favourite out of those three. But they're all pretty nice. I'm going to show you this lot of drills as well. Now these are the round, so that's pretty groovy. I've got two uh, two round kits and I've got one square quick kit. That's pretty awesome. So you can um, order the square kits. I must mention this. The square kits come in different sizes, so as I've shown you there in the um, unboxing as I bring up those images and that, I can, you can have a look. There's actually an option down the bottom when you're choosing your square to what size you like. Obviously the price changes, but um, yeah, you can actually, if you want a bigger diamond painting with the squares, you can actually choose them, which I think is awesome. I wish they could do that with the rounds too, but I think it's pretty awesome. What is going on there? 
<laughs> yep, two extra colours, no problem. Just me having a little what the moment. Alright, let's get on the drill train again. I've got a caboose this time, so I'm going to have to pop him on the end. And of course, I'm going to start with some gorgeous purples. Of course, you know, we have all those beautiful coloured purples and things in Cheshire Cat. Um, tans and pinks and oranges. It's going to be a bright coloured um, painting as well. I have a few more uh, softer tones and different blues. We're going to flip that so that it behaves itself. And going into that, then I've got some more paler greens. Then we're going into some more pretty blues. And again, some more, more colours of pinks and so forth. They're quite pretty. Uh, and this is sort of more of a pretty colour. So that's your first 20. So that's the big train. And don't forget the caboose because it's just as important. This is 21 and 22. And I have a white and another purple colour. And all the drills look rather nice too. Happy with that. Happy with that. Look at pretty pinks. Wow. All right, let's put this. Oops. It's going to be so noisy. Uh, let's put this thing away and we'll recap. How's that sound? Let's put that away. Still go in here. Voila. Okay. So we're going to go back forwards now and recap what we had. Because there's some pretty things today. I had this beautiful um, Alice in Wonderland image. I also had this beautiful uh, butterfly, this monarch butterfly on flower. I really like that one. And I also have these cute little owls up in their tree. Ooh, that had round, that had round, and that was my square. So two rounds and a square. So you have the option of different kinds of drills at the new craft day uh, e-store. So check that out. Um, I'm sure they have um, some special drill projects and craft projects and lots of other things too. So have a look at the website. If this doesn't quite um, work for you, there is lots of other options on their website. So check them out because there is some pretty things. Uh, these are just a few. So uh, yeah, thank you so much, New Craft Day, for sending out these products. They look awesome. I really like this butterfly. It's so that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking through these couple of products that I had to show you guys. And uh, comment down below which one's your favourite, if you have a favourite out of all these, or you just think all pretty. Um, I think they're all rather lovely, but yeah, I do love that butterfly. He's looking at me. He's looking pretty good. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all those other things. Everything will be linked down below for you guys, so check out those as well. And don't forget that discount code for 10% off, and I'll see you in my next video. Hit the bell so you don't miss it, and I'll see you soon next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and yeah, be your life beautiful with Diamond Art.